in this story, he uh, uh, meets uh, Dr. Goebbels, who was the Minister of Truth and Propaganda. Now, Goebbels was the uh, head of the German film studio, and there's one particular actress that um, he wants desperately to be in his, his next picture, but she's being a little reluctant, and he thinks she needs persuading, and she herself uh, wants Goebbels to do something for her, which is to find her lost father in Croatia. And uh, Goebbels basically suggests that Bernie go and talk to this woman uh, before he sends him to Croatia to, to actually look for the girl's father. So along the way he falls in love with the girl, of course, and um, then goes to Croatia where he finds that things are infinitely more unpleasant than he could ever have imagined. Well, when you have a character who's gone on for as long as this, um, you feel, I feel a kind of affinity with other authors who've had characters go on for a long time, like, I mean, Ian Fleming and James Bond. I mean, you have a kind of love-hate relationship with the character after a while. You think um, there are lots of things about the character you like, and there are lots of things that um, you feel conflicted about. So I feel lucky that people are still interested. I mean, they, they've been going on for such a long time, and I had a big layoff in the middle. I, I, I wrote three, and then I didn't write any more for about 16 years, and I think that was very useful, uh, because it meant I came back as a sort of, I hope, as a better writer, with more insights into the character and, and the period than, than were in the earlier ones. I suppose the period it interests me because I did a postgraduate degree in German law and philosophy. So I kind of got interested in it then. But equally, the English have always had a fascination with Berlin, uh, right from the time of Christopher Isherwood through to John le Carre. And I think um, we have contributed to the cultural fabric of Berlin in a way that probably no other race has. Um, so I felt I was sort of fit, fitting into the, this sort of picture um, very much. Um, and I remember I was in a bookshop in Berlin a couple of years ago and I saw a pile of Isherwood's books and a pile of John le Carre and the, my books were in the middle and it felt like a sort of fantastic sandwich. Well I tend to make a difference between German readers and Berlin readers. Um, my Berlin readers um, love Bernie Gunther, because Bernie Gunther is a Berliner and he's not like a lot of Germans. In Berlin, I feel there's a, a big constituency, a big, a big fan base for, for the stories. Um, and I, I feel a kind of um, affinity with Berliners. Berliners have a very cruel, nasty sense of humour, like my own, you see. So, to that extent, um, we got on very well. Well, um, I try to go to some of the places, which is the most important research. I look for a kind of emotional experience when I get there. I like to feel stuff. I'm not sure what I've experienced until I actually start writing the book itself. And, I, uh, and then it becomes easier to project myself back into the period as the character. It's almost like I, I'm a, an actor and I have to play a part. And jokingly, I say it's like being Robert De Niro in taxi driver. It's the same thing. You look for a kind of emotional nexus between yourself and the character you're writing about so you can write about it more effectively. Uh, and that's really the most important research that there is. I mean, I, in the beginning I used to take much more notes and many more pictures, but the most important research is the research you do in your own head and in your own emotions. 